I'm Kat and I'm a student nurse at the Queensland Children's Hospital. Before I begin today, let's pause to acknowledge and reflect on the custodial land of the oldest living civilization in the world. Today we pay our respects to the Yogara people and the Torrible people and their elders past, present and emerging, for they hold the hopes, dreams, traditions and cultures of Aboriginal Australia. Today I'd like to celebrate NADOC Week with you by reading a short story named Budgeon and the Min Min Lights. A lovely short story by Uncle Joe Kirk, Greer Casey and Sandy Harold. Let's read. Budgeon lived with his grandmother in an old wooden house beside a water hole deep in the Australian bush. Each evening Budgeon would take his fishing rod to the water hole. He would sit on his favourite rock and he would fish until bedtime. One night he noticed a bright light twinkling through the trees. Hmm, he wondered, what can it be? Oh goodness me, oh goodness me, I think that thing is watching me. Suddenly Budgeon was afraid. His grandmother had often warned him if he didn't behave and do what she had asked him, the Min Min lights would come and lead him away. Could this be the Min Min lights? Suddenly there were two lights and they were coming across the water straight towards him. Budgeon dropped his fishing rod and ran. Oh goodness me, oh goodness me, now there are two lights following me. He hid under a bush and closed his eyes. He waited a minute. Before he looked up to see if he was still being followed, he was. Now it was only one big light and it was hovering next to the bush. Oh goodness me, oh goodness me, now one huge light is following me. It must be the Min Min. Budgeon scrambled out from under the bush and ran as fast as he could to the back door of his home. He looked over his shoulder. The light was right behind him. He raced inside and slammed the door. Budgeon ran to the veranda and dived under the mosquito net and into his bed. He pulled up his blanket right up to his eyes. Oh goodness me, oh goodness me, I don't know why that thing is following me. He could see the bright light shining. It was yellow and orange and hanging over his head and it was growing even bigger. Now he was really frightened. Budgeon pulled the covers right over his head. He hoped the mosquito net would save him from the light, just as it had protected him from the mosquito's bite. Oh goodness me, oh goodness me, what does that scary thing want with me? Budgeon lay in bed and listened. All was quiet. Slowly his hands reached to pull the blanket down, just a little. He took a peek. What did he see? Not one big light, but hundreds of glowing tiny lights. Fireflies! Millions of fireflies. He had run away from fireflies. Budgeon sat up in bed and pulled back the mosquito net and watched the beautiful little insects as they buzzed and flittered around him. Oh goodness me, oh goodness me, I think these fireflies want to be friends with me. And that is the end of the story. Thank you very much for letting me celebrate NADOC week with you.